My name is Julie Ann Parker. Uh, I'm from Australia. I've been working at the temple for seven years now. Uh, my role at the temple is actually I'm a volunteer here, but I'm the coordinator of the volunteers and the foreign department. Um, saying that as well, I'm also more of a, a cat handler. Um, I look after the big ones and at times I've also looked after the younger ones and actually been with them 24 hours a day. Um, plus I also work with the vets and work with a lot of the cattle and the, the livestock that we have here as well. Originally it started as a, a, a temple, you know, first and foremost as a temple for the monks. Um, you know, then the animals sort of came and then it's turned into a tiger temple. Uh, as far as it for now, there's sort of two different parts of the temple. We've separated it off. Um, the, the side with the tigers just got so big that it was too much for the monks to look after. So we've kind of separated it off now and the temple is separate and then the tigers are a separate entity as well. Um, now definitely it is a tourist hotspot for in Thailand. A lot of people want to come and, and get up close for their cats. Um, you know, as far as that side of it is, it's great for people to understand and learn about the tigers. But at the same time, we would prefer if we didn't have to do the tourism side of it, but at the same time, by the tourists coming through, it gives the cats a better life and we can plan for future plans, you know, so that maybe financially we will have that support that we can have them out and, and not have to rely on the tourists coming through so much. At the moment now, and this is sort of a battle that's been going on for about a year, is um, that the department actually want to take the tigers from here. Um, you know, as far as the temple, we've been fighting for it because you know, for the cats here at the moment, you know, as you can see behind me, they've got these lovely yards, um, they've got enrichment, they've got everything that they need, they've got a great diet and they've also got a great medical team. Um, and to sort of see the tigers go to a, a department which <laughs> can't live up to the same standards as here in smaller enclosures and cages and things like that where, you know, we're not too sure what will actually happen to them is, is quite scary for us. Um, um, personally, uh, <laughs> it broke my heart, to be honest with you. Uh, even now I find it uh, quite difficult. Um, I think the reality of just watching uh, these poor animals get loaded up, um, you know, they miss the faces. We're the only people that they've ever known. Um, and to watch them go through being sedated and moved and, you know, even sedating tigers and moving them to other areas, you're taking a huge risk, um, especially with a lot of the older cats that we have here. I mean, it's terrifying. Um, for us here, we're just we're doing our best to keep fighting for it. But um, at the end of the day, if if they were going to somewhere better, I mean, we'd be all for it. But uh, to have finally got to a point with the cats here, where they are out, where they are happy, and, and we've worked so long for it to see them going to something completely worse for them is is, is heartbreaking. And every day is just a struggle for us to to come here and put a smile on our face. Um, you know, obviously we do it for the animals, but it's completely gut wrenching. Yeah. My name is Jang. It's my nickname is Jang. I've been here same time as Jules uh, since 2009. Uh, we've been start off with volunteering as well. Basically, I just look after them. Like for for me, I think as a Thai staff as well. I think everybody who work here, they they believe the Thai is our baby, like our own baby. You know, so we look after them. Everybody think that. The tiger here not happy, but I disagree. I disagree very strongly because we make sure they're happy, and the thing by taking them away is making them happy. But it's opposite, you know, because we visiting them, and they're not happy.